This is the plaza area directly above the, uh, the, the hotel or western wall. That dome you see in the distance there is actually the, the dome for Al-Aqsa Mosque. And behind it, on the other side of the Kidron Valley, that is the Mount of Olives. This little area here, Katie and I stop here and relax a lot, actually, because uh, you can get water and other things in that little shop there. And uh, this is a great area if you're at the Temple Mount to uh, just relax nearby. This area, this building here, belongs to the Temple Mount. This is their, their office in the old city. They have another office in the center of the city. But this is where the Temple Institute is. And inside there, there are a lot of uh, things that are worth, worth seeing, including uh, priest garments, implements for the Temple, a lot of stuff in there. Again, we're heading down to the Kotel and you can see in front of you parts of the uh, ancient city of Jerusalem that are in ruins, but uh, they've been restored to some extent for tourists. Very attractive, actually. This is the, um, the golden menorah that the Temple Institute had built. I forget how much gold is in it, but a lot. And um, the intention is to put that thing inside the third temple, which they plan to construct, and on the Temple Mount. We're very near the Temple Mount now. This is in a tourist area. This is looking directly at the Kotel, and you can see the Dome of the Rock um, in the background there. It's on top of the Temple Mount. You can also see the Mosque of Omar. That's the tower to the left of the Dome of the Rock. You're looking down on the, the Kotel. That's where all the people are gathered at the base of that wall. And I'm gonna pan across to Al-Aqsa Mosque and, and the Mount of Olives in the background. The dome there is Al-Aqsa Mosque. And in the background, you see the Mount of Olives. The Messiah is going to return at the top of the Mount of Olives. If you look at the dome of the rock, uh, excuse me, the, the dome over Al-Aqsa Mosque, you see a tower on the other side. That's called the Tower of the Ascension. That's where the Messiah ascended to heaven after his resurrection. This is uh, the security checkpoint at uh, the hotel. I don't like coming through here. It's just, it's slow going through security. But now we're down in the area, the level of the hotel. Herod was here, and now we're here. Yeah. Okay, we're approaching the hotel here, and you can see there are people down there praying. We'll get closer, and, and, and I'll show you what it looks like. In fact, I may even go in there so you can see what it looks like up close. The women and men are separated, so Katie can't go in on the, on the men's side, and I can't go in on the women's side. This area up here uh, we're looking at now overlooks the hotel. It's in the Jewish quarter in that plaza area that we were in just a moment ago. But um, it's offices, there's some residences in there and other things, but the real estate here is very, very expensive. I mean very expensive.
On the right, you see the women praying. There's a, a, a barrier. And then on the left are men praying. Right now in Israel, there is a lot of friction between the women and the men and who has the right to come to the to the Kotel or Western Wall. And there's even question, uh, they're raising questions about the division of men and women, but that's the political thing going on right now in Israel. The group heading that up, is they're called Women of the Wall. This is the women's area in front of the hotel, right in front of me. And uh, as you can see, there's a, a, a barrier between the men and women at the hotel. That wall in, that they're praying in front of is called the Western Wall or the hotel. This is the entrance to the men's section of the hotel. I'm going to take you down in there and show you what it looks like on the men's side. People at the hotel are praying in front of the western wall. That actually is a retaining wall for the Temple Mount that was constructed by Herod the Great. He really wasn't great, but that's what they call him. Um, he was a great mistake. Those, those stones weigh tons, tons. They're large stones. And again, this is the Kotel or Western Wall. We're gonna get closer and I'll let you see what it looks like up close. Again, this is the base of the Western Wall. People pray. In almost every crevice in the Western Wall, you'll see scraps of paper. Well, people write their prayers down and cram them into those crevices, and it's just loaded with uh, the crevices are just loaded with prayers that people have written down and I'll try to zoom in and show you an area where they're stuffed. I hope you can see that clearly. Again, this is the Kotel. Most Westerners call it the Western Wall. It's the Western Wall of the Temple Mount, constructed by Herod the Great. It's a retaining wall.